Hey everyone, and welcome to another tutorial by Gluten Free For You. Today we're going to be showing something that's pretty essential for just about any sci-fi movie you'd want to make, and that's a transporter effect. We're using Motion 5 here, and using Motion 5 makes this pretty easy because they've got some content in here that works pretty nice for a transporter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import a video of yourself standing still. We've got one right here, but you're, what you're also going to want to do is that you're also going to want to have one where you are um, stand, where you've got the exact same spot, but just without uh, you there. You're going to need that later on in this. So I fit the video to the player size. That looks pretty good. got him just standing still. We're going to also use Final Cut Pro X later on in this tutorial. If you don't have that, pretty much any program editing program will work. All you need to do is add a fade. So we're going to head over to Library, and under Particle Emitters, type in Transport. There it is. Drag that into the canvas, and up the size of it a little bit. So there we go. Fit that with him. But and you're gonna want to put the transport there a little bit so we can stand still for a second. That looks pretty good. Let's play it through. So now he's just all cut off right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to export this movie and to do that you press Command E. And I just use all the current settings that it's that's default set to. That works pretty nice. Go ahead and name it. And save it to your desktop. Be easier to find that way. And now that we're here in Final Cut Pro X, you're going to need to uh, come in here and create a new project. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. And select OK. So now we're going to import with Command Shift I or video on the desktop. Here it is transport.move and select import. So we see that up here and select it till it goes to the black part. So we'll drag that into the into there and you can say command plus to zoom in on your timeline. That looks good. And now we're going to also import with Command Shift I our still our video of the same place with no one standing there. To do that, I have it stored under photo under movies and photo booth. So now there's that there. Just drag that in. And now what we're going to want to do is you want to select trim up the transition and let's watch it. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit longer. And there you have it. You've just created your very own transporter effect using Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro X.